Top 5 Best presents Two Parents Resort to a Desperate Decision When Their Adult Son Refuses to Move Out. Life after college graduation is difficult, especially in the modern era. Oftentimes, people can feel lost when they get their degree, especially with such a shallow job market and few transition programs. Oftentimes, college students who are ready to move out of their parents' houses are simply unable to do so. This is more than understandable and isn't even necessarily bad luck. It's practically become the norm these days. But for most people, their return home is temporary. The intent is to eventually get on their feet and get a stable career. However, for some other people, the pendulum ends up swinging in the opposite direction. Sometimes your future really is entirely in your hands, and some people simply elect just to squander it. One such person took that sort of squandering to the extreme. It's not uncommon for parents and their children to butt heads during those tumultuous teenage years. This rocky path is completely normal. And after the rebellious period finally simmers down, most kids finally realize the importance of maintaining a healthy relationship with the people who lovingly raised them. Unfortunately, not all children are cut from the same grateful cloth. For example, take Michael Rotondo. Despite spending eight post-college years living with his parents sans a job, Michael refused their sage advice to learn some independence and move out. Now desperate, his parents were forced to do what no parent ever wants to. Michael Rotondo, a 30-year-old from Camillus, New York, started off his life like any other kid. He was raised in a middle-class family who provided him with all the love and support he needed to ensure his future success. When Michael graduated from college, he took the next natural step of life. He packed up his things and moved out of his parents' home into the real world. However, he quickly learned the real world wasn't all rainbows and sunshine. After just a short period of time, Michael called it quits on trying to establish his own independence and once again packed up all his things to move back in with mom and dad. However, they didn't realize just how frustratingly permanent of a move it would be. Now, although Michael's move back home seemed like an escape from facing reality, the job market was terrible and the cost of housing was borderline impossible to negotiate. College students all over the country were facing the same dilemma. At first, Michael's mother and father were happy to have their son and give him a place to stay rent-free while he sorted these things out. But before they knew it, years were passing and Michael still had no job and no motivation to get one, even after fathering a child of his own. What started as a little bit of help was now a huge problem. Not only did Michael refuse to seek some kind of employment, but he didn't help with chores or contribute to any household expenditures. And he lost visitation rights with his son. He was like a deadbeat. So, his parents, after eight years, tried one last desperate act to inspire him to get moving. They drew up an eviction notice and handed it to Michael. The letter stated, you have 14 days to vacate. You will not be allowed to return. Michael, clearly rattled, took matters into his own hands. As the days quickly counted down, Michael still hadn't packed any of his things in preparation for the eviction. His parents gave him three more letters until finally they had enough. This insanity would end right now. To their astonishment, Michael sued his parents for evicting him. Michael, who was unable to afford a lawyer, studied the case intensely and represented himself in the hopes of continuing his open-ended stay in the family home. That said, he did have to hitch a ride with them to the courthouse. Michael attempted to convince the judge for a six-month window to vacate the home, but the judge immediately disagreed, calling the request outrageous. It was time Michael faced reality head on. 
The judge's official ruling allowed Michael to stay with his parents until their lawyer drew up a contract detailing the eviction. The only thing Michael asked was no shorter than 30 days, and his parents accepted. But Michael wasn't done yet. Immediately after the ruling, he began making a massive stink about the verdict. He felt he was treated unfairly, and he claimed his parents were giving him the boot as retaliation for him keeping his son from them. His story began picking up steam with major news networks, and he gave several interviews. The problem was, no one thought his parents were wrong. Michael was seen as a freeloader by just about everyone. Alex Jones, the host of the conspiracy theory-heavy program, InfoWars, actually invited Michael on and gave him $3,000 to help him on his feet. Michael was a national story at this point, but an upsetting one. Without a job, how exactly did Michael plan on making a living after moving out? His first move was to file another lawsuit, this time against his former employer, Best Buy, for nearly $300,000 because they fired him when he refused to work on Saturdays. The case, unsurprisingly, was later dismissed. Finally, the day came when Michael legally had to remove all of his belongings and hit the road. Of course, in typical Michael fashion, he didn't leave without creating a little bit more attention, this time with his father. After packing up his things, Michael realized he forgot his box of Lego in the basement, but his father refused to let him back inside. The cops were called, and with the officers present, Michael retrieved the Lego and drove off, never wanting contact with his parents again. From there, Michael reportedly went to Syracuse to rent out an Airbnb for a short while while using the money from his news appearances. He then planned on moving in with a distant cousin at some point. The conclusion of Michael's story is so far unclear, but hopefully he's learned to pull himself up by the bootstraps and start focusing on getting things done. Thank you for watching. Tap one of the two videos on screen for another interesting story.